Who wants to start? Music to me is a source that lets me connect to myself when there's problems in the real world. It lets me disconnect from that and connect to me. So I'm starting to open new doors and like I'm starting to realize who I am now because of this. Music to me is like expressing your feelings and having fun with it. Um, music is a way of expression. Music to me is is really the rhythm of your life. Music, I don't know, I would say it's my life. Because if I'm like feeling down, I'm feeling upset, I'm feeling mad, I'm feeling whatever I'm feeling, it's just like music can just turn that around. It makes me like, make me be happy, make me feel good about myself. To me, music is uh, the unifying factor in humankind. For instance, what I mean is, it's the one thing that is in common with everyone, with all these differences, and I think that's what makes us, makes music so magical. The, the, the universe vibrates on different frequencies, and that's what music is, too. Well, it's many different things. First off, it's an honor. It's a privilege. It's healing. It's a gift. It can change the world. Well, I'm from the mission, and I'm Latina. So for a long time, you know, through Mission Girls, we've been trying to battle the stereotypes and to give our girls the, the tools and, and the weapons, per se, to be able to say, no, I am who I am, and I don't have to fulfill your expectations of me. I have my own expectations of myself. And I want to become I want to become a role model for younger children since they get to hear all this music and for them to go against all the things that people say about women. I don't see how we can help women continue to advance while we demean them and degrade them publicly. That's got to stop. Every day that they get out of their house is like a bottle. So the way that I envision my girls every morning is they're putting, as they're putting their clothes on and their makeup on, they're really like envision a soldier when they're getting ready to go to war and they're putting their fatigues on. That's what our girls are doing because they have to come out and they have to confront a world that's not accepting them for who they are. Tell me a bit about what you're doing. Writing lyrics for um, our song because we're trying to get it all together. So they, every day our girls have to wake up and they go into this world with images that they've seen on TV that they're supposed to be skinny, big boobs, big butt, no matter how you get it. Yeah, wait, why, why did you guys write these lyrics? Like, what are they about? Um, they're about how women been put down through the society and media. But we've never had the opportunity to this level to be able to say, you know what, not only I'm not going to accept it, but I'm going to help the other girls out there to not accept it. To help them hear and see us take a stand and help you say, you know what, I am not a hoe, I am not a slut, I am not a bitch, I am a woman. The other great thing about this project is that the girls are getting the real professional treatment. They're, they're, this is an industry treatment. They're in a million dollar, multi-million dollar um, a studio with renowned coaches who are giving them that treatment. 
Sí. We are the women, women yeah. the women of the world. Thinking. I believe this program is about empowering young women, teenagers, um, through music. I think it's great because they're coming into this project, to this program, talking about how uh, the modern music that they listen to on the radio all the time doesn't make them feel good as people, but there's nobody really around saying that this is bad stuff because everybody is into this music. We are the women, the women of the world. I honestly didn't know, um, you know, how talented these girls could be. They're just amazing, and so um, it just boggles my mind. And I feel like what they're doing, you know, empowering other young women, is just so awe-inspiring. So I really adore that. I worked with Sam McGee today, and she worked with me on my vocals. It was just so much fun talking with her and just learning more about her goals and her aspirations and you know what she thinks of being such a vital part of this. And my goals are for people in younger generations to know what is happening right now and to realize that it should be stopped. We are the women. We bring life to the world. Yeah. If you want to see the crystal ball in society, look at kids. We are the future. It's to raise awareness about this kind of music and to send the message that it is demeaning to our youth for that kind of message to be out there and to reject it. Because not only, only does it give the opportunity to the, the kids to participate and learn and express themselves, but they're also going to set a positive role model message to their peers by doing this. So next time that you guys are in a situation where you feel that your voice is taken away, that somebody else is taking your power, remember this and take it back. Don't ever let anybody take your power. I'm also really, really happy to see how much closer they've grown together, how it's going beyond the studio, it's going beyond Mission Girls. These are, they're really becoming sisters. And for our sisterhood, it's really important. And now it's a living thing. It's, it's them, they're there for each other. They're always texting each other. They're on Instagram talking about big sis, little sis. So that's, that's also very beautiful to see. The other part that I'm really happy that they got to experience um, was able to be around so many professionals from so many different realms of life and be able to create those relationships with people that they're not normally met, get to see on a daily basis. What I would like the, the young ladies, the girls to get from this experience, from this program, is to walk away feeling like they have a choice and to not feel like they just have to accept something just because it, it even though it makes them feel bad, they just have to accept it. We want them to walk away from this being like, no, I don't have to accept it. I have a choice. Well, to give young women a choice, an alternative to what's out there, something that's positive, uplifting, that shows them as our next generation of influential people and leaders. You know, it's great to be a part of this project, to coach and inspire the other girls who are doing so much to empower other women and to me that is so awe-inspiring because we are the women, you know, we're the women of the world. <laughs>